Hi, this is Rick. I'm going to take a minute and uh, explore with you a, a feature within NAV 2013 called Show as Chart. And at first I thought, well, what does this thing do? And I just didn't have a clue, so I just said, well, let's just click on it and see. And the screen cleared and it didn't do anything. So it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, go back, show as list. And I'm thinking show as chart, because I like charts. I think charts are cool. But nothing came in here. And then I said, OK, well, I better read this. So it says select measures and dimensions for the chart. OK, so OK, I'll try that. So here's the measures. Oh, looky there. So here's measures. All right, and what's dimension? So here's dimension. So goodness, look at all this stuff. So maybe I can do some charting with some of that stuff. So let's see here. If I do um, dimension count, let's try that by by city. What does that do? Well, it gives me a chart. I don't know exactly what that means, but uh, dimension count by city. So that must mean something. So how about uh, credit amount? Oh, by that's credit amount by city and dimension oh at least looks like it's leaving the other one there so let's get rid of that dimension count and there's just credit amount oh okay by city what if I want to see this by something else let's say um, let's see what else we've got here we could do this by general product posting group okay so here's the credit amount so it looks like the people in the national account have a lot higher credit amounts than the people that are in export EU and and blank well that's that's getting it more interesting now to me so I'm seeing this chart but now wait a minute what if I want to go back to the list so if I go to the list here I'm back on my list of customers and if I show the chart will it Oh, it, it remembers. So in 2013, unlike in previous versions, um, the uh, charts actually hold their position on screen. So that's kind of cool. So let's see what else we can do here. So this is credit amount. Maybe I'm not interested in credit amount. I'm interested more in something else. So let's uh, maybe by balance due. So how about by balance? So here's by balance due. So that's kind of interesting. And maybe I would like to see this by, by department code. Okay, so there's my different departments. So I can change what I what I'm wanting you to see here is you can very quickly change these things to look at totals according to almost maybe even by by number. Okay, this is for each customer. This shows the by by, wow, that's kind of nice. So that shows for each customer. Now it's showing an awful lot of uh, customers that I don't want. So let's try one other thing here. Let's come back to this customer list. Not everybody has a balance. So I'm going to apply a uh, some filtering on this and say only show where the balance is greater than zero. Okay, so now I've got a much uh, yeah, much, much shorter list on screen and probably my chart will be shorter. So now I'm just showing customers that have a balance due. In fact, uh, I discovered too, when if you're hovering over it, you can kind of highlight a block. I just held down the mouse and release and it'll let me kind of drill into. So if you've got a real tight, um, real tight chart, you just hover and, and, and drag with your mouse and you can kind of drill into specific areas and then I wanted to check to see if it kind of matched so I'm here on customer 30,000 when I hover on it you see the a balance due there of 607 let me go back to the list 607 okay Canon group to uh, 280,000 is that what it shows so Yep, right there. So Canon Group, 280,000. So these numbers now correlate to what's on the screen. So this is uh, this is good stuff. Now let's go just a little further. What is this little thing over here? Select a dimension. Whoa, so I've got even more capabilities to further sort this. Let's sort this now maybe by uh, balance due. I'd probably like to know by salesperson. So I'm going to go by salesperson. 
Oh, looky there. So now I can see PS and JR. So it looks like PS, probably Peter Shadow. His, these are his customers, and they've got some pretty high balances. This customer, JR, they have low balances, so no problem there. So I need to start talking to PS because the, uh, his balances uh, look like they're um, a little bit high. Notice, too, how you can adjust it and so forth. And it looks like it's brought in a uh, kind of a scale for me over here as well. Um, so it's doing a lot of really nice things. Then I can go back to show as chart or show as list, come back, so it's there. Now, in fact, I like this so much. How could I get this chart on my role center? That's the challenge. And I thought, well, there probably maybe there's a way to do that. So I'm poking around here, and I just happened to right click it. And if I right click in the body of the chart, I found that I can copy it, save picture as, print setup, print preview. Wow, print preview. Does that mean I can actually print it? So I could print this chart? Looky there. So now I can actually go and I can um, physically print the chart on paper if I wanted to. Rather than having to do a print screen or anything, I can physically print it. That's just with a right click. That's pretty nice. And I'm going to show you one other that I discovered, which is really nice. It's called Customize. See this down here? Customize. Watch this. I go Customize, and suddenly I realized what's happening is this chart is utilizing the generic chart customization. I had another video showing you how to build a chart from scratch. This basically has created the chart for me. And look, I can go in and say, well, instead of a column chart, I'd like to show this, uh, let's say, with a pie chart. And then I say, OK. And oh, can't do a pie chart with multi-dimension. So let's take, uh, let's take that one off. So we'll take that off, and there we go. So there's there's a, the pie chart of the values. So now I kind of, okay, I like this chart, and I want to basically put this on the roll center. So I right click and I customize. So here's the chart, but is there any way to kind of save this chart? Well, what I want to do, and you can play with other things before I go further. Notice that you can put a, a title in here. You can show the title. You can put in data points for these things. Uh, just play with this. You'll get so that you uh, feel comfortable with it. But here's the key. There's one other little thing I want to show you, which I just learned the other day, and I just want to share this with you today, which is copy chart, copy chart. Okay, so I'm going to say copy chart, and it says give it a name, and we'll just call it uh, balance due, and we'll call this customer balance due. All right, and I hit OK, and the chart was successfully copied, and <laughs> where where did it copy it? So it's like, okay, well, I got that far. It copied it, but, uh, you know. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Departments menu and go into the Application Setup. I've been showing you this in one of my other videos to the generic charts. And this is what I want you to see is that the Balance Due chart is basically on the generic chart list. So that's great. The copy, it's basically, it's a save as. Think of it more of a save as than a copy, but it's it's saving it here in the generic chart list. It's copying it to the generic chart list. And so now I should be able to um, use that chart, quite frankly, in just about any place I want to put it. Uh, in fact, I think where I think I'm going to put it is right there on the next to the customer list. So let's get rid of uh, this one. I'll park that out of the way. And I just want to add that in a fact box. So you simply come in here. You say customize the fact boxes. Here's the chart parts. We'll basically add that in. Move it up a little bit and put it at the top. We'll customize it and select our balance due chart hit OK this is great stuff and there it is 
So now my balance due chart is just basically right there on screen for me as I'm processing information and it's going to hold that. That's the advantage is so if I move over here to vendors and then I could put something there for vendors as well come back to customers then I'm going to have that customer balance due. Even if I apply a filter here it's still going to uh, have the uh, customers that have, have balance due on their on their chart so I wanted to share that with you uh, give it a try I think you'll uh, like that functionality uh, and I think you'll have a very before too long you'll have a very colorful and very chart uh, chart filled uh, screen showing all sorts of indicators um, throughout your NAV 2013 experience thanks so much